So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and today I have a great video for you, uh, at least uh, <laughs> it is a functionality of Power BI that I absolutely love and uh, this is something that it was announced on the data summit for Insight Summit, I don't know when it was, it was like in the summer and it was released a couple of months ago. I promised to make a video and I actually did this demonstration on the Power BI user group for a couple of weeks ago here in Sweden. So I thought it was time to do a video about it so you also know how to work with the Visio. So we are going to embed Visio in Power BI and see how we customize the Visio map so it actually interacts with the data in Power BI. So if you don't know how to use it and uh, you need help with that, just stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, this is a custom visual that it was released, as I said, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, sorry. And you go to the App Store at Microsoft and you can actually find the visual here. You can also find it within Power BI. I will show you when we are in Power BI. So you don't need to come here and download it anymore. But here they have an instruction of how to use, um, how to actually use the visual. I thought that it was not 100% straightforward, but what to do? It would be great actually to have a, you know, sample file. I, I couldn't find anyone, so I have to create the visual file myself, which is fine, but it took me time to do it. Um, but anyhow, let's focus on, see how this works. Uh, what I have done is create a map. How do you call it? Is it a visual map? Visual shape? Visual file? Oh, let me know in the comment box how these things are called. Um, but um, the first challenge to create these uh, kind of maps, kind of visualization, is to have Visio. And, well, you know, Visio is not included on the, um, how do you say, on the cheaper Office 365 plans. So you have to have a higher um, plan to be able to have access to Visio, you can of course download it uh, as a separate uh, installation or as a separate program. Um, but it is not available for the default that you normally get when you have uh, Office 365 for small businesses, for example. Which I think it is a pity because um, I, th I think that it would be a... a, a I mean, this, this is mostly and the price, uh, I have only used it with like big customers, so I understand that perhaps most customers have, doesn't have um, or ha hasn't had the, the use for Visio. But when you're including Visio in Power BI, it starts becoming very useful for a lot of customers, and it would be great to have it there. So I have higher plans, I have access to Visio, so you can see it here. Uh, but for some reason, it was not with a normal download when you download Excel, PowerPoint and all that kind of stuff. So um, I had, I mean, it took me seriously like an hour and a half just to find where to download Visio. So please Microsoft fix that because it was, yeah, it, it was an endeavor. I wish I would have recorded that. I didn't, so I don't have the steps, but I have to, you know, Google a lot just to find the actual, um, link to download it because I knew that it was included on my plan but anyhow uh, you have if you have Visio or if you manage to download Visio then you create a share plan I'm going to actually share this file with you so you don't have to create it like I did uh, but what I have here is an office uh, there are two three workstations a pool and then coffee machine coffee machine is always important where working with data <laughs> working at all, I would say. So um, once you have done your, you know, process mapping or your office or your, I don't know, whatever it is that you want to visualize using Visio, what you need to do is you go into here data and then you have to enable this data shape data window. 
what this does is basically assign properties to the different visual elements or visual elements on your map. So what I have done here is uh, what I want to track is I want to track the chairs. I want to know when they are free or occupied and they should change color based on that. So if a chair is occupied, I want it red, otherwise I want it green. And if I don't know if it is occupied or not, I want it the same color that it is now. So to do that, we need to tag these assets. We need to tell Power BI, this chair is this chair. And what you can do, you know, you have to navigate through the visual, um, visualization and find the asset that you want. In this case, you see it here. And as you can see, I have tagged this as C3, Chair 3 and Engineering. So this is based on the data I have. So let's go to Power BI, so I'll show you the data. So here we are in Power BI and I have two tables. I have one table where I have all the assets. You can see here Chair 1, Chair 2, 3 and our pool. And then I have another table where the status of the assets is reported. So I have this chair is free or is occupied, free or occupied, date and time. Okay, uh, so very, very easy. So what we need to tell Visio is which of the chairs are these chairs. And this is exactly what I did if you see here. If you go into this, you see this is chair 2, this is chair 1 and this is our pool. Okay, so you just go in there, click on the asset that you want to tag, and then you just tag it with the information that you have in Power BI. So Power BI knows, uh, okay, this is, this C1 is this chair, and this is the one that I have to light. Once you've done that, comes the next limitation for this to work, and is that you cannot publish this everywhere and it will work. You have two places where you can publish it. Number one is SharePoint. Number two is OneDrive for business. So not the OneDrive that you get for free with Hotmail. This is OneDrive for business. If you don't have either of those, you're out of luck. But those things come with um, Office 365, I think the basic plan. So you should be able, I mean, you should not have any issue whatsoever. The issue for you, small businesses is to actually have access to Visio. So once you have it, you just publish it. I've published this on my OneDrive for business. And you just save it there. I, mean, I have it here, floor, plan, plan, sample, and then this is the visual. And if you click on it, it actually takes you to the actual visualization in Visio Online. And what you're going to need for this to work is this URL that you see here, okay? So don't get the URL anywhere else because you need to have this iframe. This needs to be iframed for the Visio app to work. So don't go in here and try to get like, you know, share with, mm, it won't work. Get this URL and only this. Let's copy it. So now that we have that, we're going back to Power BI and we are going to import our visualization here. Um, if you don't have the visualization or, or the visual custom visual here, you can go here from store. This is like, did this two months ago, three months ago, something like that. You will have to log in if you haven't done it yet. I've done it. And then you can just here search for your visual and download directly, which is nice. It's actually quite nice. I've already done it. So we don't need to do that in this sample. And once you do it, you click on it and you get a visual map or, you know, the, the visualization window, if you would say so. The first thing we need to do with this is we have to throw in our ID because this, this is the one that says which asset is which. So it connects the visual map with the um, data set that we have in Power BI. And once you've done that, what you can see here is that it's asking us for a URL. And the URL is the URL that I've shown you in the previous step, the one that has the iframe. We've copied it, so we're just pasting it here, I'm not doing anything else. 
and it might happen that it asks you to log in again. I've already logged in, so I don't need to do it one more time. Okay, but here it is. And here you can see our Visio map. How cool is this? I mean, it looks awesome. I think the new Visio looks actually very good. The Visios that I'm used to, they have, yeah, they had older shapes than this. So I think it looks really nice. Anyhow, so here we have the visualization. We have our data set. We need to connect this a little bit more. We need to tell now the Visio custom uh, visual. What do we want the Visio map to do when things happen? So this is what we're going to do. We're, we're going to open it here. As you can see, the ID is the thing that is, you know, linking these two together. And it's asking us for values. It's like, okay, what, what do you want me to do? And what we wanted to do is that when the status of the chair is free, it should light green. When it's occupied, is it light red? And when we don't know because we didn't get any response for the sensors, it should, you know, it shouldn't light at all. It should just be brown. So this is what we're going to do. If you remember our table with the status, we have the asset, the status, the status ID, and then date and time. So I'm going to put in the status ID as values. And here, I want to display as colors. You have possibility to display text if you want to, or you have the possibility to, so for example, here you could say occupied instead of lighting green or red. I prefer the visual. So I want to have green when it's free, which if you remember from the data set, it was zero, not one, zero, please. I don't want blue, I don't want orange, and I want one red. Ah, come on. So, so when it's free, I want a green. That means when status ID is zero, green. When it's occupied, red, status ID one. And if we don't know the status, brown, okay? And as you can see, it's already working because we have 12 o'clock as a filter. But here you have a small table that says what the date set is, looks like. Let's put it in there. So if we go 11 o'clock, we have C1 is free. We have no idea about the status of these two. So they are continue to be brown. We have 11.30, all of them are occupied. You can see it here and they light red. And then we have two free, one occupied and two free, one occupied. So how amazing is that? The visualizations look gorgeous. Look at this. You could have it in like a store display somewhere. You can see I don't know, your process or, or your machines or whatever it is that you are working with. This is very easy to set up. Of course, this is a very small map. If you have a bigger map, it will take a little bit more time to set it up. But then once you've set it up, it's just, you know, the moon and back. <laughs> it is so good. It is actually better than I expected because the visualizations in Visual look so much better now than they did before when I, I mean it's been a couple of years and i haven't used vision so i was like really surprised well done guys and girls from the vision team okay i have been talking for 14 minutes <laughs> i will stop now but please make sure that you, you, you stop for a second and you think about okay what do i have in my company or in my i don't know <laughs> whatever uh, personal life or you know what data sources and what visual maps could I do how could I visualize visualize my data in a better way than I'm doing it today this is, this is a great 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 way to display data 
So if you do any visualization that is public and you publish in the Power BI community, let me know in the comment box. I would love to see what people do and uh, get inspiration from you guys also as what you build. So uh, yeah. Okay, so this is all for today. As usual, if you like the video, let me know by liking it and do that so I know which type of videos you like and I continue doing more. Uh, if you have uh, anybody that thinks that you should see this video, just share it. You have all the buttons down there to share it with your community. Comments, questions, suggestions in the comment box or the social channels listed below and make sure you subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Friday I go through DAX, Mondays I go through M and Wednesday it could be absolutely anything. And last but not least, click the bell to receive notifications when I publish a new video because otherwise you won't. But have a fantastic, fantastic Tuesday and see you soon. Bye.